Oh, there's nothing like marking your own homework. Seriously. The BBC are in a privileged position. They are self-regulated, so if you or I want to complain about their output, we would be put through an internal BBC complaints procedure. And it is then down to the BBC as to whether they will refer themselves to Ofcom. <laughs> I want to laugh out loud. Sort of like marking their own homework. Or, let me see, what score am I going to give myself out of 10? Or, I think that'll be an 11. After criticism from the government, Tim Davey, who heads up the BBC, has now declared that he will personally oversee the complaints unit in an attempt to shake up and strengthen it. Well, that fills me with confidence. Not the same Tim Davey that when it came to reprimanding Gary Lineker for repeatedly overstepping the mark, did a complete about turn. Great. Even when the BBC were having a pop at GB News on their once flagship news programme, Newsnight, laying into us with sheer abandon, only later admitting to breaching their own guidelines after being pressed by Shipley MP and GB News star Philip Davies, did they offer an admission of guilt? Have a listen. You know, I have to say, I think the complaints have piled up against GB News. I think there is a delicate and important broadcast ecology in this country. I think... You know, GB News is trying to bust that ecology, and frankly, what Ofcom should do is shut it down, like it shut down uh, RT. Yeah, Victoria was listening intently as Adam Bolton slices into GB News without a word of pushback or balance. Philip said that many of his constituents had come to him about the show, leading him to file an official complaint to the BBC. Apparently, Ofcom has yet to confirm that they've launched investigation. Philip, who has faced his own breach for an interview on his show with wife Esther on GB News after an interview with Jeremy Hunt, said after one month of waiting, the BBC finally responded to him, admitting that they breached impartiality rules, but they stopped short of an apology. In my experience, when you do complain, they send you about the houses in, ho in the hope that you'll give up a sort of attrition, which is what Philip described. And let's not mention the mess they made on the Israel-Hamas conflict when they determined without any due diligence who had fired the missile near the hospital. But, uh, you know, it is hard to see what else this could be, really, given the size of the explosion, other than an Israeli airstrike or several airstrikes. Mm, how much will they find themselves for that one? If that had been here on GB News, they'd have locked the door and thrown away the key. They are now being mocked around the world. Good evening from London. Here are some news from the war in Gaza. Israel has bombed a hospital, killing hundreds of innocent people. More, more. Much better. With more details, our Middle East correspondent, Harry Whitegilt. Good evening, Rachel, from the illegal colony of Tel Aviv. Israeli officials have denied bombing the hospital, but we have video footage showing what really happened. Well, in a statement, the BBC said that we have been engaged constructively with the government throughout the midterm review process, which is explicitly focused on governance and regulation as set out in the BBC Charter, and we await publication of the findings. Well, we pay for them. They, the BBC, should not be their own judge and jury. And if they don't want to go through Ofcom, like other broadcasters, then we, the public, should determine their fate. <laughs>